Cheers. Hello guys and welcome to another video. It's a special video. I tweeted out last night there's a special video coming your way and here it is. It is a WrestleMania 31 preview and prediction show. I'll introduce the panelists very shortly, but for now this is what it's all about. WrestleMania will be the 31st annual WrestleMania professional wrestling pay-per-view. Uh, that, that, that kind of tongue twisted, however. It is produced by WWE and it is scheduled to take place this Sunday on the 29th of March. Live from the Levi Stadium in Santa Clara, Santa Clara, California. WrestleMania is considered WWE's flagship event of the year. It's been described as the Super Bowl of sports entertainment. So anyway guys, we're going to crack on with this preview. I'm going to introduce you quickly to the panellists I've got with me. And uh, yeah, so on my left, I've got Frankie Ellery. That's your prayer. <laughs> Whatever, on my right, left, I've got Frankie oh, Ellery. Oh, he is one of the... Uh, out of all of us, he's watched the most wrestling and you know, has the most knowledge about the sport. So he has some, you know, to listen to him, good insight. Towards well, whatever side of the direction room. Towards my left, I have Jordan Spence. He is my younger brother. Um, he has quite a lot of wrestling knowledge to his name as well. He's throwing in good bits of insight here and there. So I look forward to hearing from him throughout this show. And to my Upper right is by left, Ruff. left, you upper idiot. left. Sorry, I'm getting twisted. Towards my upper left, did you go to school? Is Byron Martin. He has the least wrestling experience, knowledge, but Fucking nevertheless, me. he's here to give you his insight, which is bound to be great. Anyway, guys, we're going to start here. I'm going to start with a pre show. The pre show is two hours long. There is one match on the pre show. It is a tag team fatal four way match for the WWE tag team. Team championship. It's going to be contested between the champions Tyson Kidd and Cesaro with Natalia, the Los Matadores Diego and Fandando, Fandango, Fan, Fan, Fernando. Sorry, guys, with El Torito. Uh, then we're also going to have the New Day Biggie and Kofi Kingston with Xavier Woods, and the Usos Jimmy and Jay Uso with Naomi. I'm going to come to Frankie first and get his opinion on this match. So, Frankie, how do you see this this match planning out? I don't care. <laughs> it's a good. It's a good start. I'm not watching the pre-show. Neither will I. But what's your prediction? How would you? How would you see this match going? I don't know. I don't care. I okay, know Frankie don't have a don't really give a damn for that match, as he only cares about WrestleMania, the main him. event. Um, we're gonna go to Jordan. Jordan prediction for this yeah. match. Tyson Kidd and Cesaro will retain. None of the other tag teams are, are capable of winning those titles. So, well, actually, I think the New Day are actually going to be. But nah. Losers are in it. Why would, why would someone lose the titles in the main in the? Oh yeah, I'm not even coming. There you are. Yeah. Um, Usos, yeah. Oh, Usos are in it, aren't they? Yeah. The Usos coming. The Usos, yeah, but the Usos, the titles ain't gonna change. It's gonna be Tyson Kidd and Cesaro, man. It's guaranteed. Really, they play hot ball with the titles, don't they? So. Don't care, Jeff. I'm don't care. Not. Okay, Jordan says the the current champions will retain. But those bitches. Frankie doesn't give a damn. Also, although he does think that Usos could challenge, uh, we're gonna come across to Byron. I've forgotten the match. It's a fatal four way for the WWE <laughs> Tag Team Championship between Tyson Kidd and Cesaro, Los Matadores, The New Day, and The Usos. I'm not bothered. You're not bothered either? No. Oh, come on, make a prediction, guys. Make a prediction, guys. The whole point of this show. I'm going with the champions. Tyson so, Jordan and Byron have both gone with Tyson Kidd and Cesaro. I'm going to have to agree. I'm going to go with Tyson Kidd and Cesaro. I don't think WWE has any plans to take it off them since they only won it at Fast Lane, I believe. So I do think their streak or their, their run with the titles will continue. From the bottom to the top. So there's a four-way tag match? Next, we're going to start with the Divas. Get them out of the way, pee break time, as I like to call actually, 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 time to have a white actually, mate. Actually, AJ, I'm actually interested. AJ okay. and Paige, Anyway, bro. guys, let me introduce the match. It is AJ Lee and Paige versus the Bella Twins. It is just a normal tag team match. Nothing's on the line, except from a little bit of bragging rights and a win at WrestleMania. I'm going to start with Byron in this one. Byron, what is your prediction for this game, uh, for this match, and why? Byron, please pay attention. I it am is, paying attention. I just thought. It's AJ Lee and Page versus the Bella Twins. I'm going with AJ Lee and Page to win. Any reason? Um, no. Okay, I'm going to come across to Jordan. I'm not going to say AJ Lee and Page because they're sexiness out of one in the storyline. So Jordan's going with AJ Lee and Page because they look better. Frankie. It's a tough one. They both all all teams have a bit of momentum. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say the Bellas. 
Yeah, Bellas. For me, it's going to have to be AJ Lee and Paige. They haven't seen eye to eye recently. Uh, as we all seen on Raw, you know, they, they slashed out each other. Two the top divas in the company. They're gonna, they're, they're, guys, they're guys. They're the two top divas. Guys, I will come to you. Two Please, top allow me to talk. You to really it is AJ Lee and Paige for me. Um, just think on the grandest stage of them all, the two biggest divas in the company uh, will shine Why? and their talent will show. We're going to move on from this match, guys. As we're not going to rest on our laurels. But please, if I do come to you and ask you a question, get everything you need to say out and do not interrupt other people when they talk. Right. Thank you. Next, but next match we're going to go to is the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal contested between loads of on the fringe superstars. Don't even know. Um, you know, the likes of The Miz, Curtis Axel, Fandango, Damien Mizdow, Jack Swagger. People along that sort of boundary who don't really have anything else to do during WrestleMania will be in this match. Uh, I'm going to come to Jordan first for this match. What's your prediction for this match? Who do you think will walk uh, out with the... the I don't know who's competing, so... Can't I'll read you some superstars. The Miz, Curtis Axel, oh, Ryback, Fandango. Ryback, I'm going with Ryback. Because I heard that he said, oh, I'm dumb, I'm going to do this and win. So you think you're going with Ryback? I'm going to win the trophy. I'm going to come to I'm Frankie Ryback. next. I'm going to say Axel Mania. Curtis Axel for yeah. Frankie. Yeah. Any reason? Axel. Because I like him. Michael McGillie, <laughs> Kelly. Byron, um, I've, your phone. I've actually got a few picks, but... I'll say one. one. Well, I'll, put, I'll go over my few picks. No. You can say who you think's a danger, but I only want one. I believe Mark Henry will be a danger due to being a giant. No, he'll, he'll get fucked up. A big guy. Because um, you know big guys really don't I know, but you've got to roles. think about it. It's the Battle Royale for the Andre Giant. The Giant. The Big Show. Yeah, last year. Yeah, yeah, the Big Show. My yeah, second thing sorry. would uh, be Ryback seeming the favourite, but I overall think Damien Mizdow will probably win it, seeming they brought him up to separate with the Miz and all that kind of stuff. I'm going to disagree with everyone. I'm going to go with a returning Sheamus. He's not confirmed to be in this event. However, I do think they will chuck him in it and he will walk out as the winner of this legendary Memorial Battle Royal. Um, so, yeah, guys, I say Sheamus. Everyone else says something else. Jordan with Ryback. Mark Henry and Damian Mizdar. And Frankie goes with Curtis Axel. Frankie, look interested. Um, we're going to move on now to Randy Orton versus Seth Rollins. Potentially could be one of the biggest matches on the card. Uh, not in terms of title, but in terms of performance, I do believe that this could be one of the best matches on the card. Um, obviously, Seth Rollins is going to be with his two security boys, Jamie Noble and Joey Mercury. It is a singles match, nothing, no title on the line or anything. So both superstars will be, you know, just going out there to to perform and, you know, excel and uh, have bragging rights over one another. I'm going to start with myself for this one. I'm a massive Randy Orton fan. I always have been. So, you know, I'm going to back Randy Orton to the hill here. Obviously, I think Seth Rollins has, has a lot of talent and a lot of potential. And he will go on to do great things within this next year and in the future with WWE. However, I think, you know, Randy Orton coming back from filming, just going into this event, going to get revenge from Seth Rollins, potentially ending his career with a few curb stomps. Randy Orton is cut out to win this match for me, so I'm saying Randy Orton. Jordan. Kind of a tough one, you know, because Seth Rollins, he has a, he could have the momentum to walk out as a champion because they have money in the back briefcase. Um, but I'm gonna agree with Josh. I'm gonna say Randy Orton because the momentum's <laughs> with him. They always they always have the top guy to like the top face to win at WrestleMania against the, the bad guy, so it's pretty obvious to me. But it, it, it could go both ways. But I'm gonna go with Randy Orton. I'm gonna come over to Frankie. I think Seth Rollins has to win the match. I think he needs that little bit of, of momentum push. He needs to, but does he go, is he going to win? Mm, he, I think he should win because of, I don't see him cashing in the money bank briefcase anymore on, on WrestleMania or the night after. So I think he should win and beat Randy Orton to score over on Randy Orton. I think Randy Orton doesn't really need a big victory. He's got so many and we all know Randy Orton and Seth Rollins beat Randy Orton at WrestleMania. That's a good moment for Seth Rollins and then hopefully down the line he will cash in soon. Sooner rather than later, hopefully. Byron? I'm going to go with Seth Rollins, but I'm going to go with it due to an interruption or something on them lines. Oh, Randy will fuck him up. Like, I would expect Randy Orton to dominate, or him to be the actual winner, but I, I believe like I believe like something will happen that will make him lose, if you understand what I mean. I disagree. Like, some, something will happen. I disagree. Right, I'm going to come I back to you quickly. That, I think that Seth Rollins will dominate, and then Randy Orton will take Narco out of nowhere. Top rope or something. No, Let's see it. No. You can picture it. RKO! No, Back okay. on! No, okay, no. guys, that's that match over and done with. T the split decision. Me and Jordan going for Randy Orton. Frankie, 
and Byron going for Seth Rollins. It's bound to be a great match. Uh, so we'll see what happens. Let's move on. We're going to go on to the ladder match for the WWE Intercontinental Championship. Um, contested between Bad News Barrett, who is currently champion, R-Truth, Dean Ambrose, Luke Harper, Dolph Ziggler, Stardust and Daniel Bryan. I'm going to kick things off here once again. I'm going to throw my prediction out there right now. I think this title is Daniel Bryan's to win. I've been reading lots of articles lately which say, you know, WWE want to see all the titles, the United States Championship, the Intercontinental Championship and the WWE Championship all on par with, all on par with each other. They don't want to see them as mid-card matches no more. They want to see them up in the lights, you know, so a, a US, USA Championship match could be contested as a main event on a, on a pay-per-view. So, I'm going to go with Daniel Bryan to take this win and, uh, you know, kind of boost up Intercontinental Championship's reputation. Um, yeah, but it's bound to be an exciting match, a thrilling match, as ladder matches always are. And some good competitors in there, like Dean Ambrose, who can also be in with a shout. Dolph Ziggler is always impressive in the ring. Stardust has his moments. Luke Harper and, uh, and R-Truth have been chucked in there as well with the What's champion. Mm, for Luke Harper? Bad News Barrett. Eh, he doesn't float my boat. Oh, yeah. No. I'm going to come over to Frankie next. I don't know if he has a lot to say about this match. Um, what you say about the limelight for the Intercontinental Championship, it's already in the limelight, if you think about it. Everyone has been speaking about it, you know what I mean? So... Yeah, that's what I'm saying, WWE really want to boost this program. Why would you want to it's, it's, look, I understand that, and they want to make it more prestigious. And you, sp you say you want a United States title match, main event of pay-per-view. That's what I've been reading. I they want to boost all their championships up, so not one is just seen as... The main, but and the that should be the way it is because the WWE Championship should be Get on the most the biggest okay. thing. Right. Anyway, the winner for this match In my will probably is. be Daniel Bryan because I don't, I don't think they'll have him in the match if they want to win. But it would be funny if I was one. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I would enjoy that. <laughs> would well. be so funny. I'm gonna come over to <laughs> Byron next. Um, mm. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> I believe um, Daniel fun. Bryan will win as well due to him. The world, the fans getting pissed off with him going out so early in the Royal Rumble, and so I think he deserves to win. But then again, wasn't it Dolph Ziggler's title before before he got kicked out or something like that? Wasn't it his title? He's always spinning around that title. But then again, I think he'll be a good competitor as long as, like, I think we're kind of disrespecting the champion here. Surely Bad News Barrett has a say in all this. Yeah, I think I think he's a good wrestler, but I just don't think. He's, he's got no does, say. He does, he's he's talking yeah, about. I don't think he deserves he's the title. Got respect the I don't think he deserves the title. I think it will either be, I think it will mainly be Daniel Bryan and the or the other two, which will be Dean Ambrose or Dolph Ziggler. Dean Ambrose is got Jordan. I'm gonna go with my guy Dean Ambrose, it's mainly because he has the potential to be Intercontinental Champion. He is. He's been wanting that title for so long, and I think it's about time they give him a title. Well, I know he has the United States title, but as a singles competitor. I think it's about time. Right. Why don't you time. give Dean Ambrose the Look, title? Let me finish, let me finish. And then I also think Dolph Ziggler could be in the running, but I'm just going to go with um, Dean Ambrose. I can see Dolph Ziggler about to win it, and then someone like Luke Harper will come in, and then all of a sudden Dean Ambrose just comes along. Is it something? A ladder or I something. And then, wait, and then all Dean right. Ambrose will what's be my, my new champion. Sorry, bad news, Barrett, but you know. That's alright, so what's the point of having Daniel Bryan in the match if you think Dean Ambrose Doesn't matter how big a star is, The Rock lost to John Cena. So oh, that's a Sta mega match. Stars, yeah, true, stars lose like matches. Randy, right, Randy right, Orton could lose against Seth Rollins. It's a match, right? It's, a, it's going to be a great match. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be yeah. But Daniel Bryan Bryan is one of the most popular superstars yeah. in WWE it right now. It doesn't matter. So, so why would you have him in an intercontinental time match just to lose? Because true. to put the player, the other person over. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's it. a ladder match. So? That, you can't really and, put people over. And there's seven A star can't put people over. I'll laugh in your face if Daniel Bryan loses this match because just because he's got prestige doesn't mean he could have definitely win a title. No, no, but it's he doesn't need a title. There's no point, but there's no point. Daniel Bryan doesn't even need a title. I'm listening to you. Yeah, it doesn't need that, but never not. But what's the point of having him in that match instead of When you say Daniel Bryan, all you think is yes, yes, yes. You don't think titles, titles, titles. They don't like when you think of Daniel Bryan, you think one of the most popular superstars in the They don't see him as a champion. Okay, guys, thank you. Thank you. Everyone. Giving fair points there. As you can see, the rivalry from Dolphin, from Dean Ambrose to Daniel Bryan will go on into the match. Daniel and Bryan. afterwards, whoever comes out victorious, it's, it's bound to be a great match. It's a ladder match. We will see what happens. Split decisions here. Things boiling over. So we're going to move on to the next match. I'm going to go with Suck. Rusev, who is the current United States champion, versus John Cena. It's a singles match for the 
WWE dun, 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 dun. United States Championship, and I'm going to start with Byron. I believe that Cena will win this match against Rusev. <laughs> See, Min, they've actually Rusev's taken out every single American, even him. But I believe that Cena will actually come back. He's promised the Americans that he will get the title, and I believe he'll take it and get out of Rusev's little submission hold thing and just do some Crap. do some weird move and then I don't know what any of his moves. Do some move and then just. Finish him. Can I just ask, right? Because it's America versus Russia, do you actually care as being English? Like, you're English, do you actually care about the storyline? Because America no, I just want to say a good match. Yeah, the storyline, like, I don't understand right. the storyline. American versus it. Russia, that's what I'm like. Jordan. I want to say Rusev's time is up, his time is now. <laughs> wait, wait, his time is up, his time is now. He's such a new John Cena will walk out as champion, definitely. Yeah. He'll AA his ass through the ring and he'll pin in one, two, three. But why? Huh? Why? Because John Cena's going to win that title. Why? It's about time to win the title. John Cena's a champion. So I'm going to say it. The champion's here. That's fair enough. Frankie Ellery. <sighs> Don't think it through. Yeah, say so. Yeah, John, John Cena's going to win. Unfortunately. Okay, guys. I like, I like John Cena, but... After watching Raw, Rusev knocked the fuck out of him. Cena's bound to win now. Okay, guys, we got a clean sweep across the board. I'm gonna go with John Cena. You know, I think he's just set up for him. They've, they've had this Rusev thing going on. He's been killing off Americans, Big E, Jack Swagger, you name it, he's destroyed them, even John Cena. However, I think it's just the time has come where, on the grandest stage of them all, America finally reigns mm. supreme over Russia. And I can see John Cena walking out as champion. We're going to move on to the next match. These are the two most exciting matches on the card. Well, being built up to be the two most exciting three. matches. Three, sorry. Three most exciting matches left on the card. And I don't know which one to start with. I'll start with Sting versus Triple H. It is a singles match. And I'm going to come to Frankie first. <laughs> it's a 50-50 one. I don't really think <coughs> But the only thing that's pulling me towards Sting is Sting won't come in for one WrestleMania and then lose to Triple H, you know what I mean? That's mm. the only thing. So I would say Sting, it's going to be, it might not be the best of matches we've seen that night, but it will be a match where you just have to watch it, I know. You've got to sit there and watch because one of them rise right stage and that really Sting in wrestling. Brutal. Sting in um, WrestleMania as well, I don't know you feel about like that, you know, so it's going to be a good watch for just to see Sting at WrestleMania, but the match might not be the best. So, yeah, but my position is Sting to win. I'm going to go across to Jordan now. Man, I'm going to say Sting because although Triple H is like biggest, biggest, one of the biggest superstars ever, like they're not going to have a legend like Sting come in and then just lose his first match, especially if it's at WrestleMania. It's got, it's got to be a memorable moment. You know, Sting, the last person from WCW to come in and, and defeat the, 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 the head guy of the company. He will, he's not the head guy, but it's still line wise, he's the head guy of the company. So, you know, it, it seems set in that. But I think the match will be very slow. It's just going to be very brutal. Like, it'll be baseball, baseball bat against um, the sledgehammer. And I think the baseball bat will overcome the sledgehammer, of course. <laughs> I'm going to come to Byron now. I'm going to go with a different approach. I'm going to have Triple H to win. Although... May I just add, before Byron carries on, he predicted Brock Lesnar to be Undertaker last year. So, he's quite good with these shots. So, let's see what he has um, to say. I get both of their points that they've mentioned as things like apparently the legends and he's actually in a WrestleMania so I don't think they'll bring him in for no reason but I believe that something's just like brewing. Yeah, and pointing towards Triple H for some reason. Yeah. Bear in mind he did touch his wife on Raw. Also I just want to point out, ain't it funny how if you look back at Triple H's career when he had the world title, how WWE brought in the old WCW guys who were known like Scott Steiner. Goldberg, all them kind of guys, and Triple H always used to beat them. So maybe Triple H can win. He did beat Goldberg. Don't see it, but could happen. Oh, I'm going to agree with Frankie on this aspect from what he first point when he when he when we first come to him about this match. He said, you know, Sting wouldn't just be brought to WrestleMania to do nothing, and you know Triple H doesn't really need a big win. He's 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 not full time wrestler, and I don't think Sting when was the last time Triple H won a match. Though? That's the thing. True. That's very true. Yeah, true. He, he lost last year in the first event he jobbed to Daniel Bryan. So I can just see this I can see the same sort of thing happening. I don't see it being a great match. However, I do see it being a good match. And um it's it's one of the matches that Frankie said you have to watch because it's Sting versus Triple H. Who whoever thought who would have ever thought last year would you have thought you would have seen that? 
No, so... Or is it the dream that you wanted to see, though? It's not personally what I wanted to see, yeah. but I can see it becoming, you know, it's going to have people glued to the television, no matter if they're interested in these wrestlers or not. It's just one of them matches. I'm going to go with Sting to win it. And, uh, yeah, but to be honest, I'm just looking forward to a good match. I'm not, I'm not rooting for anyone in particular. I just want to see a good match. We're going to move on with two matches left to go, the two biggest matches. These are oh, being... before we do, one question. One. Do we see Sting versus Undertaker next year at WrestleMania? Oh. No. It, I'm, no? I'm, I'm, going no. With, I'm going with it depends what happens on the wire. It's too slow of a match, man. It wouldn't be in no, I'm going with that. No, but it's, it's, it may not be the best match, but you just always want to see it. I'm going, I'm going seen that, yeah. You've always want to see it. I think if they were going to do it, they would have done it this year. No, I think they might do it next year. That's actually I don't think they would have chucked Bray Wyatt. It all, it all they would have built his character up another year mm. as a face of fear. No, that's true. So, but I don't, I don't think yeah, we're going to see that. You never know. So, talking of Undertaker, we are moving on to the Undertaker match. The legend has returned. The dead man is back at his, at his what do you want to call it? His stomping ground, his, his backyard, WrestleMania. It's the Undertaker versus Bray Wyatt. It's a singles match. I'm just buzzing for this. I'm going to start with Jordan. Oh, you want me to start again? I thought I was going to start. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was going to start. Bray Wyatt is terrific. He's wonderful. He's building up to be a great character in the company, but... I just don't see him defeat Undertaker. Undertaker's legacy at WrestleMania is too much. You know, despite he's into Brock Lesnar, he's, he's still like Mr. WrestleMania. He's like, hey, that's still my fault. No, but who has the most victories at WrestleMania? Taker. Thank you. Um, Undertaker, I can't really say much. I'm just, I think he'll just go out with one last win. I don't think him losing. I don't see him losing two matches in the World WrestleMania. That will just bring his his characters like st status down as a wrestler. Like, as a, the biggest WrestleMania opponent ever, you know. So I'm, I'm, it'll be a terrific match, no doubt. I can just see it being a similar ending to last year's match against John Cena when he was about to win, but it would, uh, Untake will just pull something out of his pocket and just, you know, you know make him rest in peace. It'll be 22-1, um, I think it is. Yeah. Like I'm going to come across to Frankie now. Get off your phone. <laughs> I'm going to come across to Frankie. Undertaker versus Bray Wyatt. It's a hard one to call. Because, personally... I love Don Diego, but I do want to see Bray Wyatt to win. I think Bray Wyatt's an amazing, amazing character. The story he's built on his own has been incredible. Like, when I first heard rumours about it'll be Wyatt versus Don Diego, I was thinking, how are they going to put a story together? But what Wyatt has done it fantastically. It's going to be a, a, an interesting match to watch. It's going to be, I think the first time you see Taker walk out, you're going to be like, oh, here he is again. You know, mm. that feeling, you get goosebumps, you know what I mean? Um, I hope Wyatt will win, but I just don't see Undertaker losing at the moment. Take over Undertaker. I'm going to go with Undertaker. Do you want to come across to Byron? Um, uh, I think after Undertaker getting completely destroyed, no, yeah, completely effed up last year, I believe they brought him back to defeat Bray Wyatt, but like, I understand that they brought Bray Wyatt up as a good character and they're still actually building him up, um, but. I I don't know, I think Undertaker will win, but it will be his last match and I think something will happen in that will apparently like, you know, an injury that he can't recover from or they're going to say something like that. And so I'm going to go for Undertaker to win. I'm going to disagree with everyone. I mean, I can't believe no one said this, but I'm going to go with Bray Wyatt. And my reasoning for that is he's, <clears throat> he's promoted this match all by himself. Mm. And if they do want to make him the face of fear of this company, and to play like the Undertaker character for the next 10, 15 years, then they have got to give him a big win. I mean, there's no bigger place in WrestleMania when it comes to the WWE. There's no place like it. But the character of Wyatt, Shh. if you see it, yeah, it's like he doesn't care about winning. Have you he understood? doesn't, but ha, so many times this year, I have written off Bray Wyatt of winning things, you know, the Dean Ambrose match early on in the year, and other matches that Bray Wyatt's had this year. And he's just impressed me each and every time he's wrestled. He's the best mic worker WWE has got. Is uh, Paul, Paul Heyman. Dean okay, he's the best <laughs> mic wrestler. Um, Dean Ambrose. We all have our opinion, but I think his his prom promos are phenomenal. They make the hairs on the back of your neck stand up. And I think this match is cut up for him, you know. All right, they, I see everyone else's point that what's the point of bringing about Undertaker just to lose again. But I just think if they want to make Bray Wyatt the new face of fear of the WWE, they're going to have to give him a big win and there's no better stage of WrestleMania against Undertaker, to be honest. Anyway, moving on to the final match on the card. It is the WWE World 
heavyweight championship. Tough one to get, isn't it? Between okay. Brock Lesnar, the current WWE World Heavyweight Champion. With Paul Heyman. With manager Paul Heyman Paul at ringside. Heyman. And Roman Reigns, the Royal Rumble winner. Kind of controversial. However, How is it controversial? I think he deserves his spot in the limelight. I don't know what that Maybe it's come too soon, as some would say. However, I'm going to come across the Frankie for this match to start off. If you were asking Monday night who would have won, I would have gone with Reigns. But now I found out Brock Lesnar signed a new contract. This is open, this match, completely open. It's 50 50 now. You know what I mean? Yeah. Reigns, before the Rumble and before he got injured, I thought he had a lot of steam going. I thought he was the guy that was going to, you know, do Brock Lesnar. And then, you know, he got injured and then he won the Rumble. I mean, I think WWE made a mistake bringing Daniel Bryan back at the Royal Rumble. Come into the camera a bit more, Frank. Why? Becky oh, I'll bring in some interesting, you see what I mean? Anyway, yeah, I thought like they made a mistake bringing Bryan into the Royal Rumble and he lost, stop touching me. Come across. Lost uh, Reigns' momentum by doing that. But Reigns is, He's getting, he's getting there, but I don't think he's ready for the WWE title unless, if he does win at WrestleMania, I see Seth Rollins cashing in, but it's highly unlikely I would put my, yeah, I'll put my faith in Brock Lesnar. I'm going to say Brock Lesnar will win this match by giving Roman Reigns about seven F5s and about 100 German suplexes. If I'm <laughs> that guy's going to get German suplexes. He's going to make him a different country. Oh, he's going to get fucked up. Poor guy. Right, we'll leave you in dreamland till Poor Sunday guy. now. Poor guy. I'm going to come across to Byron. I'm gonna go with um, well, I think they're gonna beat each other to the ground, and yeah, okay. over overall, Seth Rollins will cash in. That's what I reckon will happen. So but who would you hand the winner of this match? If to? Reigns was to win, I feel um, what's his name? Rollins will cash in due to that rivalry between the Shield thing and all that. But I actually think Lesnar will win due to the whole signing of the new contract now. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna go with. Seven minutes. Ooh. 27 minutes, a long winded. Sorry about this, guys. But anyway, we're going to come across to Jordan. When I, yeah, I agree with Frankie. Basically, before I knew Lesnar was signing his contract, I was, I was thinking Reigns because, you know, it's his moment, his WrestleMania moment that, that would fire him up to be the next big face. But now that he's brought Lesnar signed that contract, that's basically him saying, I'm still the WWE champion. And that means Brock Lesnar will win against. Um, Rollins. And I think Rollins might try cash in, but Brock Lesnar will fend off any uh, cash in. Can you imagine if Rollins cash in on Lesnar? That would be an amazing moment to see, but I don't see it no, happening. No, I don't see it happening either. Yeah. Due to I think Randy Orton will just. He's being scared of him. He'll fuck up uh, Rollins, so I don't see him happening. Well, if Bro if Rollins does. Well, that would be interesting. Randy Orton would come out and stop Rollins from cashing in. So, yeah, but, then, um, but then it depends who's won the match already. He could be really injured from the other yeah, match. Yeah, but, but, but I, I see Brock Lesnar winning the title. And uh, Brock Lesnar wins. He's on for the second year in a row. If Brock Lesnar wins. What happens to Reigns after that? I mean, how do you come, how does Reigns get build some sort of momentum after that's the, that's the thing. Ask the question. That's something. Yeah. That's something the writers need to figure out. I don't see anything. But what do you happen. do, with Reigns? That's the thing. Huh? If he does lose, guys, 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 you forget. You, terrible you forget. Words. You forget. You don't ask I have not had my say. You don't ask questions. Please, you please, ask questions. please. Panel. I will ask you. I will come no, to you in a minute. No, 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 no. I'll come to you in a moment. Shocking. In terms of this match for me, I'm gonna have to give it to Brock Lesnar. Okay, he signed a new deal. Where he only has to wrestle one time a year. That's the only we thing we don't know that. We don't know that. That's what's the matter. It's what's being touted about. Don't listen to that. And you know, I just think since he signed a new deal, he must say, "I'm here and I'm here to stay." And no one or nothing is going to stop me from becoming champion and Fandango keeping the champion. Can. Fandango can. <laughs> and um, I just think this match is cut out. It's going to be a great match, great watch. Fandango. No one knows what's going to happen. I mean, I was looking at the bookies prices earlier, and they're both evenly matched up to the same price so it's one of them matches where you just don't know but I'm going to say Brock Lesnar I think once you defeat Undertaker at Wrestlemania you're literally you should be seen as you're unstoppable untouchable. No, that you're untouchable that so I've gone with Brock Lesnar any We've all gone with Brock Lesnar I'm going to, I'm going to come across to, to all these guys now for their final thoughts what they would like to see and I'll come back to myself to close the show one thing I do want to say, sorry for the long-winded preview. Thank you if you've watched this far. Um, we really appreciate it. We'll do a review. We will do a review show straight after the event as well, uh, which will be going up with on my review. channel with other people as well. So, you know, that, that, that that's something to look forward to. And I hope you have enjoyed this video because it is something different. We're not talking about football. 
And uh, yeah, so I'm going to come across to Jordan first for any final thoughts about WrestleMania 31. I think it's going to be a great show and I hope it's the best show they've put on in many years because, you know, it, it looks like a terrific card. You know, I've never seen the WrestleMania this big with such big stars like Sting and Undertaker in one single pay-per-view. So I can just see it being an, an amazing What about WrestleMania 29 though, if you had bigger stars there? Yeah, but Sting. Um, Who would have thought Sting would be competing in WWE? That's true. Um, just what his be, name alone. What would be your one wish? If you could have one thing happen at WrestleMania, what would it be? Good question. Fine, you're getting hang of this. John Cena wins the United States title. John Cena destroys Seth Rollins, takes his money in the back briefcase, and then cashes in, in the main event. And he's the new WWE champion, and the United States champion. And yeah. There, there. Then Paige comes out and gives him a kiss. Ooh. That's a bold prediction. Anyway, <laughs> we're going to come across to Byron for his final thoughts on WrestleMania and one wish um, that he would like to see. I also believe it will be a great night. Um, you know, you're going to get the stupid Kofi Kingston in the Rumble thing where he somehow stays <laughs> in for a bit longer than usual. <laughs> you're going to get domination. Is he? Oh, no, he, he, can can still be he, could, he could still appear in it. But He'll probably appear in it and do his stupidness. You're going to get um, one person getting dominated. Um, yeah, overall, I'm going to think it's a good night and... What wish? I, w I want to see a legend come back. Like, Any Sting. Names? No, like, not in like, not <laughs> the match, but just to appear and talk or something like Any that. Sting! I want to see Stone Cold. Or The Rock. Did no, we see him last year? No, I don't <laughs> want to see Hulk Hogan. He, po he fucking pokes his nose in everywhere now with the whole Snooper Mania and all that bullshit and Hulk Mania. Anyway, I'm going to say my one now, then I'm going to go to Frankie, because Frankie's long winded as always. So, my wish for WrestleMania, no. My prediction for WrestleMania is I just think it's going to be a real great show, the best one we have ever seen. Um, some of the matches that are set up is just absolutely phenomenal. I mean, I weren't around when WrestleMania 1, 2, 3, 10, uh, no, no, 20. No, wasn't. However, you know. No, for one point, I wasn't alive. Now. But you've watched them all and stuff. You know, for me, this is the best WrestleMania I've witnessed. And. Um, have wasted this video yet? Well, best <laughs> potential <laughs> WrestleMania I've witnessed. There the we match, go. The match card is 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 sensational. Mm -hmm. If I was to have one wish, it would be Randy Orton to walk out victorious while leaving, while while Seth Rollins is being dragged away into an ambulance. Um, because I think you know, as he's tried to end his career, Randy Orton doesn't take kindly to that, and he is the WWE's Viper after all. Apex and Predator. Apex Predator as well, whatever you want to call him. Crazy and man. he is bound to get his revenge. He, he's the sort of superstar he is. And uh, I have no doubt that he will, he will be on point and you know, destroy Seth Rollins. Frankie, one well, wish and your final thoughts. Final thoughts is the potential to have a great WrestleMania is there. You know, you got some top matches. Um, yeah, hopefully it's a good WrestleMania. But, you know, my, yep. my one wish... It's a difficult one. I think... <laughs> Sorry. Probably... Yeah. The show closing with Sting and Undertaker standing face to face. Yep. Ooh, that's a, that's a good one. Only <laughs> in the main event. That, no, but that only happens if Brock plays on the beach where we make like, a little squash match. Mm. Yeah. No, I've got another one. End. I like no! no! It's my I, turn, shut up. Listen, thing. listen, shut up. Excuse me. I ain't even got a fiance, but I know she wants to shut up. What do you want to say quick before he close up? I want to see Undertaker get to the ring in less than a minute. That's not going to happen. Position time, position time. That's going to be a win. Undertaker, how long? Six minutes. Jonas? Ten minutes. Baron? 7.2 minutes. <laughs> Why? Why? Seven <laughs> minutes, 20 seconds, you just say. I reckon about five minutes. All right. Ten minutes, he'll come out with that drip. It's like three matches. Oh, anyway, guys, we have ended it on a pretty jokey note. We will be back for a review show. I'll have these three plus two more special guests. Jack? Um, Please do follow us on Twitter. The links will be in the description. Might even be on the screen somewhere. Uh, we got our editor here. Thank you for watching as always. I know it's been long and if you've watched this far, we really do appreciate you. And uh, yeah, thanks for the love. Anyway, thank you to our host once again, Frankie, Frankie who will be hosting WrestleMania for us all. Uh, yeah. And uh, we will see you after yeah. a potential great show on, on Sunday. Thank you for watching. Yeah. And I will see you later. Take care. Boom.